Instead of having an overarching prefectural style, each sake brewery in Tochigi is unique. Tipsy reporter Naoko visited three breweries, each of them with their own distinct brewing philosophies. Hi, Tipsy friend. My name is Naoko, a fellow sake geek. Senkin is a really popular brand even in Tokyo. I'm super excited to visit them. Let's go inside. Senkin's president, Kazuki Usui, is the company's visionary. He looked at flavor profiles of German Rieslings and wines from Alsace for their sake. He felt that sake should be enjoyed all over the world, paired with foods from every country. So he didn't stop at simply looking to produce top quality sake. The master brewer is the younger brother, Masato Usui. He uses modern analysis and traditional brewing techniques to create this new, juicy flavor profile that Senkin is famous for. Easy to say, very difficult to achieve. They do this while honoring centuries-old brewing traditions like using kiyoke, these gigantic wooden fermentation tanks. Although these wooden tanks were in use back in the day, they're rare to see today. And even though they can last about 200 years, not many brewers are up to the challenge of investing in kiyoke. To produce clean, consistent tasting sake using natural materials like this is difficult to do, not to mention the upkeep. But for these brothers, reviving traditional brewing techniques and natural materials is really important to them. The brewery sits on top of the plentiful water from Kinugawa River, which is easily accessed from their well. Kinugawa can be read as Angry Demon River, referring to the temperamental flooding that happened around the turn of the century. Ironically, because the water is filtered through volcanic rocks, it results in this pure and precious water supply, not only for the brewery, but also for the rice fields next to them. Senkin uses only the best sake rice grown within a five-minute radius. This is important to their philosophy of domain, brewing together with nature. After enjoying delicious sake at Senkin, we drove 30 minutes to visit the next brewery. Hi, we are at Pentaka now. They grow their own rice and make certified organic and vegan sake. Let's meet the people working hard to do this. At Tentaka, organic farming became paramount to their core value once the third generation owner, Munenori Ozaki, realized the beautiful scenery around them needed to be protected. They are one of a few breweries who obtain organic and vegan certification in Japan, US, and the UK. But more importantly, he felt that the transparency of the source of ingredients was very important. They are in a town blessed with clear skies all year round. So in the morning, when the steam rises from the rice in a clean, sweeping line, Ozaki knows it'll be a clear day and night, especially nice for stargazing. Sustainability refers to all aspects of the business here, including energy efficiency, no waste, reuse of their bottles, and also for providing a healthy and sustainable work environment. They incorporate tools and machines appropriately to account for the different sizes and strengths of their employees. Everyone can operate the one forklift named Heidi, for example. 
Ozaki believes if he is able to protect the stunning environment they are blessed with, that others will follow. Younger generation workers have, in fact, gathered from all over Japan to work here. Enjoy tentaka that is brewed with care. If it's not dry, it's not sake, Ozaki says. But we detect a very kind underlying sweetness from the rice that is achieved from the conscientious care for the people, the environment, and for good tasting sake. We hope you enjoy the tour at Tentaka. Ready to go to the next brewery? Let's go! Founded in 1673 by a local farming family, Daiichi Brewing Company is the oldest brewery in Tochigi Prefecture. Back in the day, sake, along with miso and soy sauce, were all produced and supplied locally. Now, sake is being enjoyed overseas. This to them is pure joy that they can share their sake with people from all around the globe. The 12th generation owner, Yoshinori Shimada, showed us around the older building structure. History can be felt around this brewery. For example, they still have a bookkeeping record from the Taisho era about a hundred years ago. Older records were given to a museum. And before the use of electricity, they used a water mill to polish the rice using the river that used to flow under the building. Daiichi Brewing Company may be historical, but they're also innovative. They're part of the Japan Awasake Association making clear sparkling sake with a high standard, aiming at pleasing people all over the world. Centrifuge Press, another modern innovation of extracting sake at a very low pressure, is used here for some of their premium products too. Over 340 some years, they survive through war and natural disasters. Not to mention traditional breweries are disappearing all over Japan. Most recently, in the summer of 2019, their brewery was destroyed in a disastrous flood. Shimada thought for a moment there was no way to recover, but the locals volunteered to rebuild the brewery and they were producing sake by that winter. Every summer, you'll find the whole town being invited to their sake garden and the rice greenery slash gallery is rented out for events to locals for free. Hope you enjoy delicious sake from Tatsuki Prefecture.